Hey, hello guys. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own payloads with Exploit Pack so you can customize them uh, to your needs so you can make it uh, your own and unique. So uh, first you need to open Exploit Pack, of course, and then go into go. You have to go into the Red Team uh, tab and then there are a bunch of uh, uh, type of agent and payloads that you can use, but on this video I'm gonna specifically show you how to uh, create your own custom one. So, uh, all right, and for this particular case, uh, even though you can apply it in different cases, I'm gonna show you how to uh, use it inside an, a an Excel uh, um, spreadsheet from Office. So, all right, so first thing first, you need to uh, go into a uh, custom uh, payload. Then uh, you need to know the addresses, uh, the address that uh, you're gonna use uh, for exploit pack uh, as a listener. So basically uh, you need to replace this with your address. I mean, and the agent needs to be able to reach it, of course. And uh, on my case, because I'm gonna do it inside a virtual machine, that I recommend that you uh, do that as well first. So if you want to try this, first try it on a uh, control environment. So then the, the port number, the, the default one is 8000. So that's that's my IP, IP address that's gonna be customized on the, on the agent here. And then if you want to attach a binary, for instance, this is gonna be useful if you, when, when the Asian run and during runtime, it will uh, decode the, the, the binary file, the executable, and then just run it. Uh, there are a bunch of uh, uh, options that you can select from it to make it uh, your own, of course. And then you can choose select like self-destruct, auto run, startup, copy uh, by meetings, uh, copy itself in auto run, bypass uh, AB and ADR solutions, copy by email, and um, you can even do uh, privilege escalation. And we are working on adding more and more of this uh, type of uh, uh, options that you can have. And but basically you will be able to uh, select these options and send it over after uh, the Asian is running as well. So you, you don't have to basically, you, you don't have to select it here. It doesn't matter if you uh, selected previously or not, because later on, if the Asian uh, did execute on the, on the virtual machine, and on my case, but on your case, it will be your target. Uh, you can uh, upload these options and then uh, uh, make it run it. So, um, this is gonna be your payload. This is just a little bit of a, uh, a quick peek of uh, how your payload is gonna run. And of course, you can add your own uh, stuff here. So just as an example, I'm gonna say hello there. Just This is no code, but it's just to show you that the payload is gonna go there. So you can see here that this is gonna get into your payload. So let's, uh, let's open it again. So. Uh, all right, and this is the version one. Uh, I think on the version two, we're gonna try to make this a little bit uh, prettier and a, a little bit, uh, uh, um, um, yeah, a little bit more customizable. Even though now you have a bunch of options, we would like this to take it, to take it into the next level, so you can uh, be able to use more sort of a wizard and then select your option more easily. But as as it is right now, it is functional and you should be able to use it as, a, as, a, as I'm showing you here. So generate next, and as you know, the exploit pack agent, uh, it comes with some default uh, codes, as you can see it already replaced uh, here my uh, host name. Um, well, the, 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 this is my name, so uh, you can use your own name for the agent itself, and this is gonna go through the network and it goes through the next door uh, uh, obfuscated, so it's not just uh, clear text into there. So, but you have a bunch of stuff that you can have here, but because we, we want to run it uh, directly from Excel, so we cannot just copy this, co uh, copy, select all and copy, we need to make it a stager, right? If we want to put it inside an Excel, how do you do that? Let me uh, get the virtual machine on the screen. Okay, so here you have, uh, oops, the, yeah, the, the, um, yeah, the, the book that I want to use. This is just an example, uh, example, <laughs> just to have some text there. 
and why not make it bold? Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's go into the developer uh, uh, view. If you don't have that, you need to go into I think it's options, quick address bar. Um, yeah, somewhere here, and then yeah, and then from there you can uh, uh, add the the developer here in customize ribbon. So the the if you don't have it, you, you will have it like this, and then you just need to click on it, and then you will have the developer uh, tab. Basically, that's what I meant. And then from there, you can accept the access uh, uh, Visual Basic from the from the exit sheet. Um, same same goes for uh, Word and uh, PowerPoint, so similar similar cases. So here you need to select this workbook, and then from there you can uh, in sh uh, yeah you can add your code, but we, what we want to do is we want to code we want to add the code of uh, exploit pack so we can uh, have it uh, run our own code so but we cannot choose see, do do this as i mentioned we cannot choose do this copy and then paste it because it's not going to run uh, so what we need to do is to make a stager so you can choose click on make a stager and then all the code that, that you had so the, the the code that you were previously seen now is gone is part of the stager. So basically, what happens with your code is that it was translated into a base sixty four, and then it's gonna be de uh, decoded. Oops. Select all. Copy and paste. There you go. So uh, let's make this uh, bigger. So what's happened is that exploit pack automatically grab all the code that you customized it. And then from there, it uh, created a base 64 that later on is gonna uh, decode it and put it into a file and execute it. So why is it doing that and not running directly from Excel itself? Is because then if it close Excel, then you will still have the the access there and then you can inject yourself into memory into another file into a different process or whatever you wanted to do so let's uh, close it and then we need to uh, save it as a, a macro uh, document save it like that macro ep and then we have it here and then if we as soon as we open it new remote agent connected new remote agent connected yeah exploit pack will uh, uh, tell us that there is uh, a new remote agent uh, connected and as you can see we can uh, we can see it uh, we can see it here we can uh, say grab info for instance and then we can grab the info from the machine itself. So basically now we have a full uh, exploit pack uh, Asian running in, into there and then you can use the same, um, the same features and same functionalities that you have from this, uh, this Asian. So something that you can do here is that, uh, for instance, let's, uh, let me show you something uh, uh, quite simple. Let's, so open a CMD uh, here, and I don't know, let's uh, open <laughs> uh, paint, uh, let's uh, leave it there, and then what I'm gonna do, let's just choose grab a screenshot, choose to uh, proof uh, the functionality of it, and then if the screenshot is successful, we will see uh, yeah, the paint there, and here the CMD. All right, uh, let's uh, run a command, for instance, let's say command, and say okay uh, who am i and you don't have to run the commands there that's 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 in case you want to run more than one command but you can also run the commands from here right just typically say dear then enter and then you can have it there and remember you can also do the auto exec so if uh, if you click on auto exec you can add some commands that you want to run here uh, as soon as the key logger is, is always uh, on by default, the key logger functionality, but uh, you can add all your commands that you want it. 
from it and then you can leave it uh, leave it those commands there and the next time this agent is connected the auto exec uh, will uh, will run and then from here you can see the target uh, properties how it is connected back to exploit pack to browser uh, using an internet explorer object uh, well the remote host is a, it's just a microsoft edge uh, virtual machine the asian ip and the, well the cookie name is uh, this one uh, all right so you can of course you can install more stuff self destruct um yeah um all right but i think that's enough you can play with it a little bit more but for now we can delete the shell or kill the process let's just kill the process and they the now the asian is uh, uh killed and as you can see of course here you can see that you are connected to this one all right guys i uh, thanks for watching the video i hope you liked it and if you have any questions uh just uh, drop it in the comment below um if uh, there is any motion functionality that we would like to see in the future or in the future for uh, for exploit packages or something that you miss or something that you think it might be uh, 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 covered in a different way just uh, leave it leave it your leave uh, your feedback there and uh, yeah we will uh, consider it always thanks guys and have a, a nice rest of the day bye